Good day. Today we are continuing on with our playthrough of Flycorp. Okay, so next up we've got Ukraine. Now I think that that might have changed. I don't know if you noticed. I think that possibly if you save and then load in, it might actually change what your uh, your current goal is. Now one minor gripe I have with this one is you can't pause the uh, the flow at all. You can um, you can slow it down definitely. But spacebar only slows if it doesn't pause it. Uh, and there's no way to pause and sort of reevaluate, which is a minor pain. Marrakesh. Okay, who's that? Turn. These guys at the back are a little bit unhappy, so we'll just might give them a bit of a increase in at least one of their planes. Okay. The Ukraine's pretty big. I don't know how many cities it'll give us. So we'll go Warsaw to Kiev. Because it's a slightly longer sort of route, we'll give them four planes. Just increasing passages all over the place. Dunsk? Is that how we pronounce it? Dunsk. Sort of keep an eye on what red planes we've got moving about. Now that guy's probably red because he's offset to the rest of the, the planes on that route. We'll upgrade the small little guy there. <laughs> now hopefully we do get an, a message soon telling us that they're not going to we're not going to have any more uh, level 1 planes. I think that's a nice significant step up. Okay, Copenhagen's might give a few levels too, even though it's a dead end. So it possibly could get some extra stuff going on. I can see Oslo is starting to, to get a little bit of a struggle too, so we'll just give them a bit of a faster planes. And yeah. Yeah. And Milan's still looking a bit of a struggle, so we might give Milan that second level, and we'll just upgrade a second plane for them. These ones that are on major routes, we can certainly give them, anytime we see a red plane on them, certainly obliged to give them something a little bit faster. Bosnia. Warsaw and Berlin. Another great route to get a supersonic passenger. Okay, so we'll go to Vienna and Rome. This guy. We'll give him three planes to both. Upgrade Kiev. We can obviously see we are going to get some uh, airports within Ukraine. So he's going to have both domestic and international travel to take care of. Very few of his planes. All right, we can see that that chip between Berlin and Warsaw is going to work over time. <clears throat> Means that if there's anyone within either Berlin or Warsaw that needs a... Um, Like, it's, it's suddenly pushing a lot of traffic. Uh, there's going to be no hiding behind it because they're going to get shifted real quick. So I think it's what, 600? 600? Uh, I think they, they carries. Let's find out. <clears throat> 700. So yeah, it'll move. It'll shift a lot of people real quick. Good for stopping one of the two from uh, getting overloaded, but potentially bad for the other one. Carry. So had just a sudden surge, so we'll just upgrade a few of the planes and we'll just give it upgrade as well. Okay, so to make second level planes immediately when creating a route. Great, that's what we want. So absolutely we're gonna do that. Alright. Let's go to connect to Kiev and Odessa as well. So you can see now we're just immediately getting level two 
planes, which is great. So hopefully as well we have a airing upgrade that'll ask us to uh, upgrade all of the all of the planes uh, that are level one that are still in our network to level two. Okay, you can see that all four of the planes for this guy are just all bunched at this one end of the route. I mean, I can add a fifth plane, but what's going to happen is that's going to end up right down here anyway. Let's um, let's try and speed up one of these guys to get going. And next up, we've got Russia coming in, and Russia, from the the one time I've sort of played to a point where I've had Russia, has a lot of domestic flights, and they will travel obviously a fair way. comes from Russia. So, Moscow we actually might allow to go all the way to Berlin. We'll also let them come through Kiev. Obviously we want to get St. Petersburg moving as soon as we can. We also want to keep getting planes on this route. And again, great news is that we're going to be putting level 2 planes on this makes all that efficiency a little better. They're going to be quicker, they're going to be carrying more than twice as many people. Lot to love. If Finland is going to be up next, it's up here. So I don't know how quick I want to jump into the next country, because I feel like Moscow is going to, or Russia rather, is going to have a lot of Lights going around. But I suppose that as soon as I can afford to get into one, there's no harm in sort of just getting it going. But we can see as we're advancing to the east here, there's a lot of red planes. We need to sort this out a bit. How are these guys looking? They're looking a little bit better. See, we're going to be spending a lot of money on all of these routes in Russia. They are all a bit of a distance. Alright, let's get Finland going. Uh, Finland will go... Bounce between the two. Oslo is still a bit questionable, so we'll definitely upgrade him to, to let him have a bit more of that light. Now you can see that Berlin is really becoming a hub here. I think the next thing we want to do is upgrade that. And there we go. So Munich is about to get smashed again. So we want to hope that Berlin can handle the, the amount of people. And you can see there's a lot just even waiting for St. Petersburg. So the other thing that we've got to do is clear out all this Russian traffic. It's trying to come through that way. I actually think that Munich might be already a bit more prepared for, for this surge than... Yeah, clearly what St. Petersburg. We'll get a few more planes on that St. Petersburg route based on how many people we're going to be dumping over on Moscow from that route. Look how we're doing. I didn't miss any new cities coming in just there, did I? Oh, how are they doing for Munich? So Munich is... Oh, it's doing all right. It's not going to sink him. Does it look like? Volgograd. Definitely a place I want to visit sometime. There's a beautiful statue. Is it called the, um, the Motherland Calls? If you've never seen the statue, the Motherland Calls, go have a look at that and the size of it. It's uh, where the Battle of Stalingrad was, which is what Volgograd was called during the Second World War. And they've uh, erected a massive statue that looks stunning. There you go, my fun little bit about Russia. <laughs> okay, so Berlin's looking all right. And we've we've cleared out that St. Petersburg um, demand. So that's looking good. It is mainly maybe Moscow where, sorry, even Munich where clearing out pretty well. So we'll upgrade that guy. We'll get Albania going. Uh, yeah, let's give it to charity. Kazan. 
This is definitely a good game for learning cities of the world. Albania is there. So let's just put Albania to Rome at the moment. Let's get a group one on that route, and we'll get two more planes on that route as well. Let's see that this guy's struggling a little bit. How are these guys going? They're a bit more spread out now, which is good. And there's no one complaining down there. Liberia. Where is Liberia in the world? Uh, it more sounds like me to an Eastern European country, but I can't see it there. Not Libya. There's Liberia. Like I said, through here I think that I'm going to make the Marco the, the hub of West Africa. And it means I can just sort of spend money on this route here. I have to really upgraded that guy. We'll be flying now. Literally. Um, okay, that guy's starting to struggle, so we'll just upgrade him once as well. For Slafia. Where is that? Oh, we got some really long shot Russian ones to take care of. See Helsinki's starting to struggle a little bit too. Now we've got Libya. Let's upgrade that Moscow plane there. That one. Yeah, and it's not about, like I said, it's not just about upgrading one plane. It's about making sure that all the places that go beyond that can also handle the, the workload. So, for example, Vienna's about to get smashed with stuff going to um, Slovakia. It's just that Slovakia's only got that one route in and has inky little planes. So we've got to help them out by just being able to shift more. I don't think that they'll be too bad. It's such a short route that hopefully we're okay. Now we just got another city. See, we're really long shotting into Moscow at this point. We'll have to revisit those to see if we are we need to help them out. But they are obviously already getting level two planes uh, now, which is definitely handy. All right, let's get Libya in the mix. We might just make them a connection between two Algiers and Athens. New planes are now going to be more expensive, so maybe we'll just hold off on Tripoli. Getting anything more for a minute? Bulgaria. So let's get Bulgaria in there and we'll go through Bosnia. It's our sort of little hub on this side for it to connect to. Possibly once we get Turkey and we might connect a few of these guys through. And the bad thing is that to get from there to Athens, you've got to bounce through three. We'll upgrade Rome because it's becoming a bit more heavy. And Tripoli, because we want to upgrade. Um, we want to upgrade cities at the moment more than we want to upgrade planes, because that's going to cost us twice as much for the next three minutes. Um, oop. I thought that's what I wasn't doing. Not long to go now, though. But once we do start to do that, it's Tripoli that we really want to open up. And uh, Bulgaria. Latvia is up here. Yep. Connect them to Warsaw. I possibly could have just connected them straight to Berlin. Let's take a bit of that pressure off. All first level airports, cool. Sure. Let's clear them out. So that does still mean that any new one that I make will become first level, but it means all the ones that we already have 
we'll push it up the level two. Which is still quite good. Okay, so let's two planes on that route, and then we'll put another plane on that route. Then from Sophia, we'll put two planes on that route. And these guys up here, let's just make sure we had well if we click on Moscow, I suppose, and get a route so we can see who's got less planes than they need. So it's two with only these guys in Kiev. Yeah, you can see the uh, Russia is, is really starting to push as a, as a home of a lot of domestic flights. Oh, wrong one. Right there. Click on the right thing eventually. Okay, so we do want to spend some money to upgrade that. Certainly, it'll be worth spending the money to really get Berlin as a massive airport. It is still, I think because they start you off in Germany, it really is the hub of the whole thing that everyone's potentially running through there. Even if you're coming from Greece, you can't get up that way. So once we get Romania, uh, so those planes have gone up in price again. In Gazi. So let's get Chad in the mix, which is here. Very southern city we've got there, but we'll use that as a central route for getting through the middle of Africa. And I'd say we're probably going to have to spend the money to put the extra planes on here. And same as what we did on this side, I'll wait till I can see the next plane up here, and then I'll buy a third one just so they are starting out nice and spread. I'll leave them with three for now, just because um, they're so expensive. Oh, there was another city that was announced that came in that I don't think I've got anything attached to. Luckily, it'll just go red and it'll give me five seconds to address it if if I can't find it. Assumed it was in Russia. Can't see anyone. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, Senegal is next up. Feels a lot smaller than I expected to be. There it is. Probably not where I, I think it is in the world. Yeah, so I'll wait for that to clear. All first world airports. I mean, we've only just built a few, so yeah, that's not really a major cost for us. Yeah, this is meaning that this uh, Bamako is becoming a bit more of a heavy hit airport, so we do want to make sure that these planes are moving quick. I mean, that guy's a great example of, of the potential speed we can have going here. Luckily, there's not too many airports in Africa that we are... Uh, there's not as many sort of planes moving around in there. Someone else, I think, in Moscow. I just built with only one plane. There we go. We've got a lot of money at the moment. We should be spending that on trying to upgrade our current infrastructure a little bit. And I think that really should make sure that Moscow is can handle it a lot. And that Moscow to Berlin route is uh is well managed. Okay, Serbia. Yep. We'll just bring them in here. We'll up that to three planes and we'll up them to two. So it is a capital city. Still a lot of red planes moving on that route. A lot of red still moving to Barcelona. Um, right him. Right that guy. Okay, so reduce prices. Based on that, if we don't cut our prices, the number of things. Do we cut them for a week? Sure. Okay, so we're about to lose a bit of money here. 
we'll just rather we're not going to make money as quickly as we have been. Sierra Leone. I'm pretty sure that's in Africa. One of the smaller countries, I hope, down here. Yeah, there we go. Luckily, we've got... Was it already cleared? Luckily, we've only got, um, it's like 18 minutes still to play around. But we are really starting to move around the world a bit more. Like, we've got, um... This route here, Paris to Madrid. And get some bigger planes on that. Sorry, someone else just dinged in. I wasn't paying attention. Still doing three planes on every route. Still making money hand over fist at the moment. So let's keep on moving. Now we're going to have some uh, definitely long distance travel here. So same thing, we'll wait for that plane to, to crest here. And then we'll buy them four because that is a long trip they're taking. Oh, they just... These guys really like to strike. Okay, so Niger's right in the middle of these two. So, we will use them as a... as a point across that you can move from one side to the other. So, if you are in Senegal and you're trying to get to Chad, um, at least you don't have to go all the way up and all the way down. You can just hop across. So, we will upgrade that guy. We'll upgrade him too. And Kazakhstan, I can imagine that he's going to have some long waits, so we'll upgrade that guy. That's a plane going there. Again, we don't want to be buying planes, so we'll try and just hold off on that. London's getting a little bit... Oh, it's not too bad. I guess they do start to go off green pretty quick. So he's still like only... Uh, very small. Now this is going to be an exception to my rule. This guy is so far this way that he's not going to go direct to Moscow. He can just, I can pay to expand this route here and he can just have the short route to, to Kazakhstan. Still a minute off being able to trade. So Uzbekistan's next. This guy definitely needs his extra planes. It's Oktoberfest again, so hopefully uh, Germany, Berlin and Munich are all prepared to, to handle this. Let's see how we're looking. What's Berlin doing? See that Munich number is starting to go up, but it's getting knocked out pretty quick. So we're, we're doing pretty good there. Okay, let's have an eye on uh, on the red planes and see if we can just knock out, say five. So that's two, three, four, five. All right, now let's expand Uzbekistan. So we can see that Kazakhstan's airport is already starting to struggle. So we will expand this. <coughs> uh, and we will upgrade those planes too. Because again, even once we start to move into Asia, this route is probably going to be our major route. Berlin through Moscow through Kazakhstan. And we can possibly have some major flying routes like Hong Kong to Berlin or something. Well, uh, worry about that a little bit. Madrid. Always handy when it's a capital city that's uh, making the major uh, destinations. So all those planes are just going to be flying into Madrid and then sort of ending there. Just increase our Barcelona movement. Oh, these guys looking down here. They're looking pretty good. 
Victory Town. Let's give them all a little bit of an upgrade. Speed up these guys a bit. Cameroon. It's mixed up. Okay, Cameroon is here. So we'll jump that way. We'll give him. We'll just make sure that that guy's big enough to handle it. Now this guy's struggling a bit, so let's just upgrade him and let's upgrade the planes that are obviously on that red line that is becoming a pretty major path for him. Mauritania. So that sounds like it's down here somewhere. Mauritania. We've got a Macedonia sort of sound to it, but maybe it is African. It's African. Certainly a lot bigger than I expected it to be. They're the ones where I feel guilty. I've never heard of a country and then I discover it's a huge part of the world. Alright, so let's speed up the planes that are getting there, because obviously they're in a little bit of a struggle. Let's give them another plane too. We asked to slow down at the moment, but that's okay. We've got plenty of money to spend, so let's just do a little bit of upkeep. Uh, offers us not to build any first level airports because of their low capacity. Great, we will definitely take that. So now we will no longer make first level airports. So you can see that that guy right there is bang already level 2, which will make life a lot easier for us. Alright, let's get Mauritania in here, and again, they can bounce down to there. <clears throat> you really need to get these planes, I mean, when you're watching it in just sort of slow speed. It does seem like these take forever to get anywhere. Surinam. I think it's African. I think. It's like I could be wrong. Whoa! Okay. So we are now really becoming international here. That is a huge flight. Speed things up so I can sit on this until we can make it. It certainly won't be our long term way across. I think it'll stay as our uh, way from Africa to South America, but I think we will want to have something like London to New York in place. Because for anyone from um, from up here wanting to head over to the Americas, that is a long commute that you've got to take. Okay, so currently we've got 30 minutes to worry, uh, not worry about having to get the Western Sahara going here. So what we want to do is just upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. the rare level 1 planes that must still be around. See that there are some still really inky little planes that are on that London to Berlin. Alright, so we've got him up. Now let's have a look to see why he's struggling so much. What can we upgrade him? Alright, let's get those extra planes going. Same thing, let's get this guy some extra planes as well. But that is also another important thing about this, is you want to make sure that you do have another strike. You do have money on hand. I mean, you can see sometimes here I'm really banging down to, to no money left. But if they suddenly drop something like that on me, that some part in the world that I'm not paying attention to suddenly is in crisis, I've got five seconds to figure it out. So if I don't have thousands of dollars on hand, I could be cooked. Trying to get these planes that use these key routes operating right. 
I do think long run it's going to be really important to have some more major long routes. So Berlin to Algiers, for example. Um, just to just to try and like stop. So say if someone's coming from Russia and they want to go to South America, they have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get there. Just make sure that this guy is a nice size airport too. Try and increase the speed of those guys. The next one is just Western Sahara, so that's a nice little ad. Get him going north. I realize I shouldn't be spending money on the expensive planes. Just upgrade some of these airports up here that are getting a bit more attention. Valencia. Valencia is somewhere in here. I don't even remember where anymore. Okay, so let's get you up to Moscow. There's a lot of uh, Europe that they still have just not really committed me to yet, which is interesting. But and you can see that the cost of each airport, uh, country I buy goes up each round or each time I buy one. So. We're, we're doing some quick broad strokes here too because we've got all of this that's sort of not yet taken and we're about to hit China. That's our next one in, in half an hour. Okay, so let's get Madrid upgraded a little bit. You can see there's a lot of planes. No, that's because of Valencia actually. What's, that's where Valencia is. I mean, I probably could have guessed its location from its uh, name. See that there is a lot of people just trying to get to Valencia. Like I said, it's a pain to have to spend all this money just on that tiny route, but those planes will always stay upgraded, so in the long run it will work out, I suppose. We have to be careful of upgrading these planes that are flying to Madrid at the moment, because presumably they're bringing more people to go to Valencia. How are you guys looking? This is probably a long-term... Um, Investment upgrading those guys. Alright, so Libya is now banned, but that's okay because these guys can at least get around. They just keep coming with Russia, these cities. bigger appreciation for how much how many people must live in sort of central Russia. There are, there are a few hundred hundred million people that live in Russia. I do wonder if I just bought something like say um, Estonia would it um, would it still at some point tell me that I need to to get Estonia or gain a sudden bonus like six minutes at some point? All right, let's make sure that this route is pretty hardy because it is about to be tested. Beijing flying through. This is certainly a route that we want to have five planes going on. Shanghai. Let's get those double ups. I mean, that's a pretty significant one. Shanghai is a lovely city. You know, I've been of, of mainland China, the cities I've been, which is very only a couple Beijing, Xi'an. Shanghai definitely is a really lovely one. All right, let's try and. Well, that's definitely going to be a problem there. 
let's just upgrade one of these on each side just so that they're not so heavily stacked together they actually will move with a bit more pace. <clears throat> As well, spend the money since it's a bit of a long journey to get there. Let's uh, try and speed up some of these guys to just make sure they're actually getting this journey with some gusto. Obviously, one thing that this strategy of mine is doing is it's gonna put all the, the pressure through this very obvious sort of band of, of cities. But my logic is that it means that I can focus on those cities for now. And then at the point where I um, I do have the whole world, I can start to build alternate routes. And so then hopefully I have a bit more money to really make sure that that's all in. Here we go. Bing Zhao. Bing Zhao. No. We've gone straight to Beijing. No real city in China that would be. I suppose Xi'an. Xi'an's located around here. Centralize it a little bit more than what Beijing is. But if we get Hong Kong. Actually, you might not consider Hong Kong a capital city. And even though it's only me that's making that decision, I mean, you can still see that, say, Barcelona gets a lot of traffic, even though it's not a capital city because it's a major city. Um. It's, it's just sort of the rule that I've, I'm giving to myself that that I would be going through um, capital. Wuhan. All right, up to Beijing. Curious to see if they give us a, a mess of Chinese cities as well, because there's surely a huge amount that have got party populations in them. All right, Belarus is up next, so that should be a little one in the middle so we'll go Warsaw on one side and we will give them Minsk and we will give them Kiev as well certainly upgraded a few times so we'll have to upgrade Kiev a little bit too Beijing's starting to feel it that's not what I want to upgrade. I got five planes on that, I do. Let's try and upgrade these guys. Really get them moving. Okay, obviously the problem here is that Adichan is apparently a popular location. They need to start really moving things away. It's also going to cause a squeeze on Kazakhstan. And you can see how many people are currently coming. So this is about to be a major problem. I need to hit these planes that are about to land. But they can pull a huge amount of this population that's about to land in this um, out. As this guy could max out with a few of these big planes coming in. Problem is that this guy could also have the same problem. I need to make sure that this guy is going to be ready for it. That's what I mean. That's sort of like you've got to make sure the whole supply chain is, is happy to go. Gang Zhao's about to get in a bit of a struggle there too. It looks like we have survived through Adjan being a funny little popular destination. Though this guy is still taking a lot, and a lot of that is for Adjan. Now, luckily, this guy is going to take about 500 of that, so this will clean up pretty quick, courtesy of him. Minsk and Moscow. That is pretty... I mean, it's a fine route, I suppose. You can see how many people are still waiting to get to Adjan. So I guess we want to create another one of these guys to just try and help Moscow out because they are I mean that's a huge airport that they can handle let's 
try to make sure that we can clear all that out as there shouldn't be too many more coming. Although I imagine that all of these are also uh, for that too. Get another one of them moving a bit quicker. Uh, I think that yellow is, is almost just less than 50% here, you can see. So I think it just suddenly it looks more urgent than it actually is because most of the time you've got so much stuff still sitting on green. Georgia is up next. Oh, we've got new Taipei, and we're counting that as part of China. Yeah, one, that one. We've got Shenzhen, so I'm not sure that we will get um Hong Kong. Just gonna wait for that to. I mean, this is a really dice yields point because you can see that this guy here is struggling and so is Moscow. Moscow's probably going to have a more efficient road than uh, than this guy is so we'll sort of rely on that one jet to push a lot of this out because they are they're getting red so they're going to get in red. And help shift some of this off. But Moscow is Moscow is now actually getting hit by the weight of China. So it's also this route here that we're gonna have to make sure is moving with good efficiency. Zebo. I don't even know Zebo is a city. Jan is still the bulk of what's uh, what's sitting in there, but eventually it's going to be. You can see how much of this is just China now. We do need to have these guys upgraded because we need to start really shipping, shipping them. All right, but what we'll do is we will call it there. That's uh. Round two, we're definitely uh, moving across the world now. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. But until next time, I'll catch you later. See ya.